Hey, rugby enthusiasts and loyal followers of our Springboks news channel, Bok News. How are you all doing? I hope you're ready for a serious conversation, but with a touch of humor, about the financial future of our beloved sport. So, hold on to your excitement because today we have some fresh and hot news about what's happening behind the scenes at SA Rugby. Rian Oberholzer, the big boss over there at SA Rugby, went all out in an open letter to dispel all that talk about the Springboks going into liquidation. Hold your horses, folks. None of that. Oberholzer explained that there are indeed discussions going on, but nobody has signed a contract yet. And check this out, he made it clear that the 14 member unions of SA Rugby will have a say in this whole story. Transparency is the name of the game, my people. And here's the plot twist. The Springboks aren't up for sale? Okay. SA Rugby remains steadfast as the majority shareholder. If this deal goes through, it'll just be a company coming in as a minority shareholder in the commercial rights company, CRC, a subsidiary of the parent company. And most importantly, the money from this partnership won't interfere with our national team or game administration. The idea is just to increase commercial revenue and make South African rugby even bigger on the global stage. All of this because SA Rugby is looking ahead to the future, my people. They want to ensure that rugby continues to reign here, with top investments and indie inducing practices. But now it's your turn, fervent fans. What do you think of this whole situation? How do you imagine this could turbocharge the future of our rugby? Let's speak up in the comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything about our love for the Springboks. Together, let's build an even more victorious future for our sport.